What great competition we're seeing so far. Oh, no. Right. Four quarters of stalemate. Yeah. And we'll see now how these the two teams. Come on. Yeah. Hands yeah. up in the air. Hands up. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. So the Bulls five right now. The boy Allen out there with Marcus Teague. Then it's Elton Brand. Then there's Noah. And it's Camby in at the four slot. Boston's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. To take the lead. Bradley can't get it to go. That's very uncharacteristic for him to miss that shot with he, such he, little he defensive right. pressure. Sure. Feeds it to Noah, guarded by Crawford. It's Noah with the drive. And they take the lead. And the Bulls lead by two. Looked like they found the soft spot in the defense there. Lee outside. He feeds it to Pierce. Back to Lee. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Camby's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. You know, against a lot of other teams, they would have played well enough to win, but these guys had a great night against them, and it, it ended up not even that close. Steve, that's so true. I mean, one team was good, the other team was great. They were the good team. Bulls making a switch here. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Ken. Jimmy Butler comes in for Elton Brand. Nate Robinson's checked in for Lavoy Allen. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for T. Crawford dishes the lead. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Very poor shot selection there, guys. Poked away! Oh. It's stolen by Bradley. I'm trying to get the system now. Gives him the lead pass. The defense caught dozing on the right team. Those open dunks, pretty high percentage. Yeah, you're not going to miss many of those. I mean, this is uh, really a poor defensive effort. The Bulls shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Robinson kicks to Rose. He passes to Boozer. Just under two and a half minutes passed here in this overtime. Can't get it to go. Bradley passes to Lee. Outside, Pierce. Over Boozer. It's good. Big bucket. They've got to play for Dang a stop Dang. here with the two-point lead. Dang. No open three. Courtney Lee, he's checked in for Jordan Crawford. Outside, Rose. Goes off the pick from Noah. And it's Rose penetrating. It's off. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was yes. there, but it wasn't right in this his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. First team. And an intentional foul right there. That's what I wanted. No, I want to make this slow and walk tomorrow. Slow walk tomorrow. You're watching all this. No cut for him. Oh, no breaking. He drops the first one and that yes. makes it a three point lead. They need to nail a heart but as soon as they get it in. Alright, here it is. To win the game. Restore my faith in myself. Put the bucket in the heart, put the ball in the bucket when the time is needed. And so both free throws are oh, good. Yeah. And it's a four point ball game. We're done. Clutch free throws to close it out. Love. It's off. You're loving no good so way. Uh, I did it. I secured a win. Victory in overtime yeah. An exciting end in regulation. You know what? In a long so game, good. fatigue can sometimes affect every aspect of play. Um, they didn't look tired at all to me. And that'll wrap it up. With so Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Hart. I have to get blocked for having again. a shit game, but I won it. Don't worry about that. Can the can, can, uh, free throws be a uh, highlight? I end up getting 68 points. Nice.
Remember now on that shot. <laughs> I celebrated something that wasn't celebrated. It shouldn't have been celebrated. Oh, it's the steal in it. Bang. My ball. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, uh, not a great like game for me, but I stood up when it said the time I thought it was necessary, so I'll leave you with the press conference, and I hope you have a great day, doing what you're doing, and uh, cheers for watching. Congrats on getting a win in a really close game. How much does a game like that change the way you play in the closing moments, knowing that the outcome is hanging in the balance? I think it pushes me to a whole nother level, man. To paraphrase my boy Steven Jackson, I thrive under pressure. That's when I'm at my best, and that's when I think the true superstars stand out. My teammates even stepped it up tonight, and it was a big win for us in a game that could have gone either way. Hopefully that means some of my qualities are starting to rub off on them a little bit. If so, pressure ain't gonna stand a chance against us from here on out. I just had to uh, jump in here and say another thing. I did not pick that as a douchebag fucking answer. I thought that was like, yeah, you know, we, we did all good and shit. But no, that was, that was just jerkish. For reals.